I've been covering the Middle East a long time, and it's really the worst I've seen of any uh, conflict there. Why is that? Well, you know, people might say the gov Syrian government isn't sympathetic to letting people into uh, Damascus. Therefore, it creates a vacuum of information, which is uh, filled by rumor or filled by opposition sources. That's certainly one source of it. I think that the uh, media has been very sort of credulous of taking YouTube evidence as being definitive, while this is mostly taken by political activists. Nothing wrong with that. But there's a—on television and elsewhere, there's understating of how partial uh, a lot of the, this evidence is, that the YouTube evidence and, uh, is that they're producing, uh, that, um, you know, you often have health warnings saying, we can't—we're not to verify that this is true. But the fact that television is running it at all uh, shows that they believe it is true. Uh, so, I think that that's given a sort of false impression of what's uh, happening. Uh, you know, this is a genuine civil war. It may have started as a, a popular uprising. Uh, but I think that it, all that's been uh, very partial. It's also given the impression that the Assad government's about to collapse, which really was never true. I think this is beginning to be uh, recognized now. Patrick I mean, more recently, I think people are a bit more skeptical. And, you know, Video of rebels, uh, rebel commander, you know, cutting open the body of a government soldier and eating his heart, or children uh, cutting off the head of somebody, have shown, you know, that uh, there is a case to be made on both sides. Uh, but that's quite recent. But before that, I'm rather amazed the way the uh, foreign media has relied on secondary sources and secondary sources that are very partial.